know what week it is? Championship week! It's championship week. It's championship week. Adam will say it for me. Championship week. Louder. It's championship week. Louder! No, nah, that's it. I don't want to. You pussy. You say it. No. Say it. It hurts a little bit. Why? It stings. I'm Why? still proud of myself, but it stings. What are you proud of? What I've accomplished this season. What, what did you, you accomplish? accomplish? Jinx, you won no you money. I got, you scored doodles. no points. What got, did you accomplish? <laughs> got to the playoffs when everyone doubted me. So you're the first loser. Yep. You know who's not the first loser? You. Yeah, listen. Hey, everything. The cards fell right. The cards fell in your favor. The cards fell in my favor. You yeah. make your own fucking luck. Bike saying. to bike most regular season points. I'm bringing the chip home this week. No. Oh. E-Town. Mother- no, this is... You guys like to reverse jinx your way into places. I just talk shit until it happens. And it's worked for me thus far. Yeah, you're right. So we're yeah, here. No, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're here. E-Town get down. Round 11. Championship week. Nikki thumbnails. Nikki clickbait. I don't know. Versus Stevie One Chains. The matchup is set. The stakes are high. The belt is on the line. So we're going to break down our matchup, championship matchup. We're going to talk about some possible flex plays for week 16. We're going to talk about some some studs that we think are going to get a little bust day on you this week. So some top guys that might disappoint you in championship week. Maybe you stay away from them. So I know Snacks wants to stay away from Christian McCaffrey, Lamar Jackson, and those types of guys. I do. We're going to end this, this week's segment with uh, something a little different than the Patreon questions. We're going to do some hot takes. We asked y'all to submit some hot takes on Patreon, and we are going to either agree or disagree with them are y'all ready are we ready for championship week episode Woo! we made it through the entire fucking season hallelujah i'm yeah, proud of us we did and if listen if your season goes another week and you have your championship week 17 quit fans it's a farce you're a farce yeah. love that wow what a fucking, right what you throw the fucking farce it. in there big big fan of that it's been a long year we made it through the summer <laughs> we made it through the summer we made it through the fall and we're officially in week 16 i i'm so happy as it well. went fast it went so fast. It went too slow. Like it, it, it dragged on while it was going. Like I was like, this is fucking brutal. And then it's here. And, and then it gets like, taken away. It's from over. You. you never know what you got till it's gone. Animal. That's right. That's what I, I, I tell you guys during the summer. It gets really fast during the summer. Shit picks up quickly. Mm-hmm. It's when all the growth hits. And you don't really realize it when you're in the midst of it. You're just like, oh, this is going well. And then once like week 10 hits and there's just fucking nothing going on. You're like, damn. This kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in week 16. Now it's championship week. We're about to fucking deliver absolute Fucking fire from the dragon's mouth. Scott, hit the damn intro. <laughs> Whose matchup you want to start with? Why would we talk about yours? We could start with the toilet bowl. Because someone has to win. We could start with the third place matchups. <laughs> so oh, no one else fucking wins money. I mean, are you, oh, well, I was talking about like recapping last week. Are you going to talk about how you won or no? Uh, we could talk about how just, we won. All, all I'll say is that I, I won. That's it. Shane's, yeah. Shane's team put up a fucking absolute stinker. All he has is Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes. So as Snacks sharply put the Vegas line, I was a heavy favorite. Even mm-hmm. after the Lamar Jackson 37-pointer on Thursday night, didn't feel good after that. I'll tell you what. But his team is just... I just did say something, though. Didn't I say that that's exactly like uh, Mitch Trubisky the other week? 35 points. People... People still lost with him. You're right. People don't forget. People don't forget. That Thursday night game is brutal, man. Vegas wasn't right about everything, though. No, they were not because they had animal favored. Um, Pretty mightily, too. So I I took that game backed by just a lot of consistent play, a lot of double digit performances, and a lot of stinkers from Shane's side. So that was, I was almost, you know, I beat Shane the week prior by over 100 points. So I almost guaranteed myself I was going to lose there. Usually never works out that way. Thankfully, we gritted past just grit. Now we're in the championship. Animal and Stevie One Chains didn't go as uh, blissfully for That's, my partner. So you go, you go on Pornhub. You type in anal and your matchup. Might Animals be, Abby is what pops up. You might have been the first. Listen, first I'm just result. happy I didn't lose by like a point. At this, like at at this stage, the fact that it was a blowout it makes me a little happier. I can like sleep like you know. I wasn't that bad. I wasn't like like on you know staring at the TV all night thinking I have a chance. You were the Vegas odds favorite, though. You got to be upset. That was before Brashad Perriman was inserted into the lineup. That was with Justin Watson. So, listen, things happen. Lineups get changed. It's good for Steve. He made a good move. Yeah, you're right. Honestly, if Vegas, if Vegas saw if Vegas saw Brashad Perriman in there, Steve heavy favorite. It would have been massive favorite. 
Sharp money would have been all over Steve. The lines would have swung. Brashad Perriman put up a 32 spot in yeah. your fucking domicile. Yeah. Here is a play action going to the end zone. Touchdown, Brashad Perriman. And on third down and 15, Winston will flip it and it'll be caught by Perriman. He'll get the two-minute warning, and here's a pass to Perriman who catches it for his third touchdown. This always works out for me. And Steve moves on. So the matchup yeah. is set. Now, Yahoo has early projections for our matchup. Uh, this is prior to us making waiver wire pickups, so I'm sure there are a lot of things uh, still to come. But 151 to 135 are the Yahoo projections in favor of me. Snacks, or should I say Vegas? What is the early uh, early lines on this? So game? I was I was actually on the phone with one of the bookmakers. He has Nikki thumbnails minus two eighty five. Wow. Minus 285. Wow. Holy shit. He's factoring sh- a lot of stuff. Holy shite. A lot of stuff. The consistency, projections, matchups. Injuries. Injuries. I'll tell you what, I love. Motive. I love the, the, the Texans matchup for you. It's beautiful. I only, I only wish that Jameis Winston was at full strength without Mike Evans because Stevie had Mike Evans, so that was a big blow to him. If I could have had Winston and Watson yeah. going head to head, Houston versus Tampa Bay, oh, that's nice. that would have been the, fucking the shootout fireworks. making it happen. So I'm looking at my matchup right now. Yeah, I love Watson, love love Hopkins, Terry Kill against Chicago. Don't care. He did literally his matchup. Terry Kill his matchup. Yeah, the running backs like. You know, it's been scary trotting out both Chargers running backs week in, week out. But for the most part, they've put me up at least a combined 20. But, they got a nice matchup. Yeah, they. I mean, they're playing against Oakland, so I can't really ask for a better matchup there. Uh, Zach Ertz doesn't matter because he's getting 48 targets. Oh, 49. 49 targets. Excuse me. The only. Th- OK, so we have a couple decisions here. and I want to hear your guys takes on this. So we were talking pre-show. My second flex spot. We got Aaron Jones in the flex one. It's going to be between Terry McLaurin and Robert Woods. Woods, prior to last week's game, had been on absolute fucking fire. Six for 97, 13 for 172, 7 for 98 in a touchdown. This previous week, I mean, he gets nine targets, only catches four for 17. So that's five straight weeks of at least nine targets. So they're playing San Francisco, who have not been as good against the pass as no. of recently. They're, they're deep. I mean, we, they just lost to the fucking Falcons, yeah. which is just abysmal. Julio ate them up. Ate them up. So it's between. Where the se- fuck was that all year, Julio? Piece of shit. Yeah, it really let a lot of people down. Unless you're in the chip like me in the Go Fade Me League and Julio fucking did his thing and danced all over George's fucking titties. Sorry, George. I will remember you. I'm not sorry whatsoever. I like George. Get put in the fucking I like George, I like George a lot. Too. He's a really good guy. Now that we're not playing anymore? Yeah, George. You know what? You can fucking be back in my good graces, but I stomped the competition. Vatch, you're fucking next, my guy. Terry McLaurin against New York Giants at home. No Janoris Jenkins. Back to back weeks with a touchdown, back to back big fantasy. You have to start Terry here. I don't think you have to. I think you I do. I think it's a very legit discussion to have. Well, see, I think here's what you should do. Here's the animal analysis right now. It's take Melvin Gordon out of your lineup, insert Aaron Jones into that running back spot, start Terry McLaurin, and start Robert Woods. There's absolutely you no shot him. I'm starting you Robert Woods over Melvin Gordon. You heard him. Boom. Boom. There's not a chance that that's So you happening. want him to play Terry over Robert Woods. But you want Melvin Gordon out so Robert Woods could play? Yes, that's insanity. There's Maybe. no shot. I'm 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 sitting Melvin Gordon for Robert. Woods. How about Woods. this Higby instead of Robert Woods? That I honestly don't it's fucking not hate. The worst thing in the world. Right? Higby's going to get his tight end targets. No but I'm not going to do. I mean, look at Robert Woods' target numbers: 11, 9, 18, 9, 9. Well, like, you want to start Robert Woods? I do want to start Robert Woods. I want to start Terry too. But I think I think I think I you're just trying gave to catch you how you do it. I, I just think you're trying you. to catch lightning in a bottle. Yeah, but not at the expense of Melvin. Listen, fucking you're Gordon. trying to catch lightning in a bottle. You're not, he's this not is the championship. He's not. Th- you're trying exactly no. what you're trying to do. What? I'm, catch lightning in a bottle and win it. Steve's team put up 175. It's because he was playing. Do you, you remember when I and I put up 215 the week before that, and I beat Steve with 175 points a couple weeks before? I'm not worried about Steve's team. I'm worried about my team. The only person that can fucking beat me is me and Melvin Gordon. Stop. I, sorry, I think we should. Cut so Terry's it. hot right now, cut but listen, mic. like I, I know <laughs> I don't want to depend. I don't want to depend on Jared Goff. <laughs> listen, he's staying within California. That's big. I need Jared Goff in California, one way or fucking another. Yeah, that's big. But how are you going to trust Dwayne Haskins right now? Revenge game. It's the Giants. Like they're they're the going to be plenty really of bad. opportunities for him to throw the ball. They do one thing well, and that's that's defend the run. But they cannot defend the pass. And the Redskins' defense is is not that bad, so they're not going to like. The, the Redskins will have plenty of opportunities to be on the field. The offense will they be probably, on the field. Terry probably sees DeAndre Baker, who's been playing pretty well the last few weeks. Stop it. Doesn't scare me at all. Yeah. Just right. saying. All right. I need to know down below comments. 
Just saying. McLaurin, Robert Woods, and my flex too. The other big, uh, the other big one here is James Winston or Tannehill, my quarterback too. Now Winston is coming off this monster fucking game. Obviously, he gets a great matchup against Houston. They're going to have to throw the ball a lot because Deshaun Watson is going to score a lot. But Winston's going to be without Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Scotty Miller, and he's probably playing a little banged up right now. Yeah, but like I... 30, two 30 point games in a row, throwing the ball over forty times a game. I can't play Winston over Tannehill, right? The- the problem is no. Wait, 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 you have wait, to play you Tannehill. Can't play Tannehill over Winston, or you can't play Winston over Tannehill. Can't play Winston over Tannehill. Winston over. Ta- I can't play Winston. No. over Tannehill. Not it's, there's too much at stake in this game to have a guy that could possibly be out in the first quarter if his thumb starts hurting or he hits it on the helmet or something, and then that's it. Tannehill's been great. Tannehill's too. gonna the twenty-four tight, points this last week. The Titans are still playing before. for a playoff spot. They have to play. They have the to, Saints defense looked really good yesterday. Dude, the, they were the Colts are done. They are done. Colts are done. The Titans are competing still. They have a chance to. They, they, they can get to the postseason. They can do something. I don't know. So what are you doing? You're going I, Winston even I am, with all yeah. the— I, I'm, so, I'm so sick and tired of doubting him every fucking week that I'm at the point where I'm blindly putting him in, even though he's going to throw a pick on the first play. He will. Did you see that fucking tweet I, I had? Four ridiculous. out of the last I'm six saying, games, he started I, off with a pick. Get, but the, three weeks ago at Jacksonville, 10 fantasy points, 268 yards, zero touchdowns. I feel like that game is coming for him. Yeah. I just wouldn't do it because of, there's too much—like, listen— one stupid thrower, it bounces off his lineman's helmet or something, and his thumb hurts, yeah, and that's it. He's out. Risk. I just think Ryan Tannehill is is too good of an option to to get cute with Winston. Because if it was like if it was like Winston or like Gardner Minshew, I would be like, okay, Winston. You got to take the outside with Winston or like Jared Goff or something. I'd be like, okay. And Winston. if this game was being played in New Orleans, I would I would also probably and yeah, New Orleans. Right. If it was on the road, I'd be did they very just clinch nervous. it last night? Is that like? What? I don't think they clinched anything. No, Who? like well, the playoffs. No, because there's uh, three teams that are eleven and three right now. It's yeah, the, no, they're not first place, for, but yeah, they're no, they're, they're still one. very much fighting. The division? No, because the no, 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 not for the division. The division's clinched, right? Division's but that doesn't matter. They yeah, no, they're, they're they're going for home field. The yeah. second place team has like four wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. So those are the two I, big I uh, big discrepancies for me this weekend. What am I doing at flex two? What am I doing at quarterback? Early odds have me. Oh, I really don't know what I'm going to do between McLaurin and Woods. I honestly don't think either way that's going to be the deciding factor. The deciding factor. Like I like Woods' floor, but McLaurin's upside is really, really nice to have he's on a weekly a basis. He's got a much better matchup. He's got yeah. yeah. He's got the better matchup. I think I might end up leaning with McLaurin. I'll probably end up going with Tannehill over Winston. Yeah, I, I think that's the move. And Hard to argue it. Yeah, and then looking at Steve's team, I mean, I got to be honest, man, I, I love this matchup for me because, I mean, his quarterbacks right now, Mitch Trubisky against Kansas City and that, Phillip Rivers. Then so that makes me nervous, though, that 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 Trubisky. Why? Because either it's going to be a blowout and Trubisky's going to have plenty of time to just throw, throw 45 times and probably still have two late touchdowns. I'm telling you, Trubisky over 20 points. Easily. That's fine. You give over him a 20. 20 spot, I'm okay with he's, that. He's been running the ball more now. They're not Oops, playing for put anything. Up 16 but points last week. He's playing for his future, so he's played two good games, eh, three good games. Two, two of them came against Detroit, who are fucking miserable. The yeah. other games are like, nah, I'm not too worried about Trubisky. I, th- I think he will end up having. He's a more of a garbage game. time guy. I think like 18 yeah. points is fine. I'm not worried about that. Philip Rivers has been terrible, but he does get a great matchup. The rest of his team, though, you have Edelman, who's clearly very banged up right now. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't even move. start Edelman, not to like try and give Steve help, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I hope he fucking sits him, but he might not even play. Who knows? Because he's dealing with multiple injuries. He was on a limited snap count last week, uh, so who knows like what's really gonna happen? Perriman, I mean, you can't really trust Perriman. He no. did look great, obviously, with Winston last week, but like six targets was like a he's, he's going to become a, a volume play. You're going to just because that there's you're no one else that there. Hits yeah. one big play. Yeah, Mike so Evans and Godwin out. You're hoping Brashad Perriman takes on one of the I think roles. I think he sees more than six targets, but yeah, I'm sure. Well, he this gets week, yeah, now he's not he's not seeing three touchdowns. Perriman will probably have an, a a double digit point game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, C Mac obviously is always scary. Mark Ingram is going to be scary against Cleveland because they just get on the goal line fucking yeah. left and, and right. And they're done now. Their season's over. Kelsey against Chicago. I mean, that's definitely not like a plus matchup by any means, but I think Kelsey has been more of a floor play than a ceiling play despite his last I worry last about Kelsey game. because he's been so consistent just like getting targets and he just hasn't scored. Well, that could be the big difference between uh between the game for us is who gets like the touchdowns or the big plays. Is it Tyree Kill or Travis Kelsey? Yeah, exactly. That could, that could be huge way. for you guys. Yeah. This um, matchup cuz he hasn't scored in what 3 4 weeks, yeah. Kelsey. But then so. Josh Jacobs. Oh, Gruden came out today and said that he, his status for next week is definitely in question. I think he escaped the game probably feeling a little banged up. Because what they probably did was just give him a fucking shot. Yeah. And then they gave him 20 Last home game, carries. like, do it for the fans. Yeah. And then, like, the, now you're shutting him down We're going all probably. out for this. That was their Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah and they, they still fucking blew it. Miserable. Oh, yeah. So they gave him 24 off, fucking carries. Ended up with 89 yards. So not very effective. So, like, I, he's banged up with Edelman, with Josh Jacobs. And uh, I don't know. The matchup feels good for me. But anytime it feels that way, you never know. Because he's yeah, got a lot of yeah. high upside players. So... 
Uh, Mostert, I'm definitely a little bit nervous about. He's been very good as of late, so we'll see what happens there. But yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if I'd have the Vegas line of minus 280 here, but... I, it's not me. I'd give you minus 135. I didn't get, say you. I it's just said me. Vegas. I, I would say it's closer to like 150, probably. Crazy. Yeah. No way. He's got T.Y. on the bench, so I'm hoping that he puts T.Y. in. I don't, I don't see, right I don't see a viable the, option. You gotta wait a till waivers. Way Steve wins. You gotta wait till waivers go through, too, because you don't know what's gonna Nick, happen. It, Nick's team has just been way too consistent for too long now. Yeah, mm-hmm. the team is a dud game might be 160. Oh, I just had 139. Yeah, I mean that's a, that's a dud game. Before that, yeah, my my dud game is 140, and right now I think Steve would probably be lucky to hit 145. Right, that's why I think the no, you're right. The odds are so high. This is huge. I need to bring home this fucking chip. I need yeah. to bring it home for the brand. for you. I need to bring it home. Are you? Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, this is for the brand. Yeah, we need it. We need it. We this need that belt back is, on the fucking I, table. I, that's why I wanted one of. I wanted I, to win I, so badly because I knew one I of really us gets like in. Steve. You know, I really like Steve. So I love Steve. He's amazing. But I just can't let him win before me. Like yeah. I need, I need to win this, and then he could win next. I want year the belt to be here at the table. We need it for the next year. We need it in the HQ. I'm gonna wear every wherever it is. So. Root for me, please. Keep me in your prayers. Keep Animal in your prayers. Animal needs it more than anybody. For no reason. I'm, but I needed it. And let sad. me let me know what you think about my yeah, six starts. Dude. If you're going Woods or McLaurin, if you're going Ryan Tannehill or Jameis Winston, I need to know. I need the big dogs' opinion. Some yeah, let's ch- go right into... Uh, some more chip week action? Some more championship stuff. We'll talk a little bit about what some guys... About? Uh, what are we talking about? That could possibly fuck you. It might bust. Oh! Ruin your lineup. Oh! Or that some, was good. Some guys that, that was good. Did you hear what you did? Yeah. What'd you do? I said bust. You know, if you you ruin it though when you say that, if you just let me continue talking. Wait, new trade from Yannick live on air. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, sick. I get Deontay Johnson, David Montgomery. He gets Cortland Sutton. That's a steal for, for everyone. You. Is just trying to get Cortland Sutton, and it's not yeah. going to happen. If you want Cortland Sutton from me, this is a fucking public service announcement. You better bring the noise. Because Cortland Sutton, listen, I drafted Julio, and I also drafted Julio 2.0 with Cortland Sutton. So I have Julio again for the next eight years. You want Julio in your lineup for the next eight years? Bring the fucking noise. Don't no be, lies detected don't there. Don't be fucking, a- don't be offering me Deontay Johnson and shit, all right? You Good better, player. you shouldn't have traded away great fucking Michael player. Thomas, you dumb fuck, Yannick. Yeah, yeah I, great I didn't player. Did that. Yeah, I was trying to trade for him for so long. Hearing about that last night, what, what did he get from him? Not a Judy Montgomery. Montgomery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, terrible. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to hear. You know what? Wrong. Good trade, Yannick. Fucking yeah. love you, man. It's mm-hmm. terrible. Hey, Yannick, that was disgusting. You disgust me. Disgusting. You are fucking disgusting in the content. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we're going to give you some <laughs> some players that could bust or some like obscure, maybe some random weird guys or some guys that you could pick up off your waivers that could possibly help you win your championship. Yeah, so there's two criteria for the guys that we're going to name. Basically, we're going to talk about guys that are, you know, no questions asked that have been inserted into your lineup. Basically, uh, we were talking about Melvin Gordon, but he's going to break him down a little further. Guys that are studs that we think might disappoint for your fantasy championship. And then guys that are like borderline flex plays you might be able to pick up or you haven't been able to decide whether or not to start them in the flex yeah. that we think are very, 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 very good options Don't hesitate. for this week. All right? No hesitation. Who's starting? Hesitation loses. I'm gonna start. Who's? I'm gonna start off with a guy that we mentioned before, Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon bust week here it comes. It came last week. It did. You're week we're nine. gonna get a double dose. He's getting. He's, he's we're going to get a in, double he, dose. He's getting two touchdowns this week. He uh, two rushing scores. He won't from the goal line. Here's the thing that with is Melvin be one Gordon. Future of a game. We've had just saying. Week 14, he had 12 carries. Last week, this week, whatever. Last week, he had seven carries. Yeah, he fumbled twice, and he was you know. Pretty much replaced for Justin Jackson. Yeah, well, now, that looked great, by the way. Yeah, so let's let's he talk about let's talk about my worries Chris here. Chris Carson that, loses ten a game, still plays. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you're not sorry. The I, worry <laughs> is, what are the Chargers playing for at this point? Nothing. Melvin Gordon has. So his, why are they going to hurt his guys? Why are they going to well, hurt their own guys? Well, they know Melvin Melvin's Gordon's most likely not going to be on their team next year. They're, he's probably exactly. going to be leaving. So, so, so no, they're not playing to win anymore. They're just. Listen, so we're going to see what we ground. got. We're going to see what we got. Justin Jackson, what you got? We're going we're gonna to show you a little bit more. We're going to give you a little more carries. So you think I should start Justin Jackson over Melvin no, Gordon? No, not at all. I told you you should start Robert Woods. Okay. He, did, he did say that. But I'm just a little nervous that he might get, you know, six, seven carries. I'd be, lying, I'd be lying if deep down inside my heart I am not nervous about Melvin Gordon because I am nervous about Melvin Gordon this week because in two of my lineups I am trotting out both Chargers backs. 
feel supremely confident about Austin Eckler going off. I he's, love Eckler. I hate him. I think he's. <laughs> I love that you hate him. I will never like him. <laughs> I he's, love that you. He's hate always him. catching the ball in that offense, so it doesn't matter. He's Melvin he's, Gordon catches tons of balls. He had five fucking receptions last week. He had five receptions the week before that too. Max, he had five receptions. Twelve targets five. over the last two weeks. He's gotten five targets a fucking thirty-two times this year already. How do you feel about that? Melvin stat? Gordon does not top eight points. Whoa! Hot take. That's absurd. Hot take. He's gonna this week right here. Here's my hot take. I'm going to do it in like four carries. I was going to say, <laughs> Melvin Gordon tops eight points on the first drive. On the Chargers' first the drive. first drive? He, right. he caps it off with a one-yard fucking touchdown Will score. We, is there like a bet here? We just No, I just want to fucking make you feel like shit, you piece of shit. All right. Aww. That's what's going to happen. Animal. All right. Well, yeah, so that's it. So if you got Melvin Gordon, don't play him. It's <laughs> <laughs> insanity. You know who you shouldn't no, play I also? I feel nervous. You know who you also shouldn't play? Drew Brees. Coming off this fucking, he's coming off a few monster games right now. 304, 350 and five. Good God. He's been really good lately. Yeah, yeah. Three or more touchdowns so in four out of the last five. They just haven't come against good teams. No. He's never on the road. And when he is on the road, he's in a dome. The last he's had two road games out of the last seven games. Two road games out of the last seven games. They were at Tampa Bay, at Atlanta. Good weather, in domes. Everything's been going right for Drew Brees. Against Tennessee. They got to travel a little bit. They're going to be outside. Evan Silva tweeted this. And Evan. Listen, this has been a thing for, for Drew Brees' most of his career. The splits, home and away, in a dome, in a outside dome, of a dome. dome yeah. It's always been a thing. But, you know, people forget about those things very quickly, right? As soon as a couple big games happen, they forget about the splits. And they're very, 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 very real. So Evan tweeted out, <laughs> Drew Brees has made eight non-injury shortened starts this year. Seven of those eight have been played indoors. Six of them at home. Week 16 at the Titans will be Breeze's second full outdoors game since week 15 of the 2018 season. Wow. Last week, this Monday night game against Indy was, you know, he, he I mean, he crushes prime time. That's what he does. He puts yeah. up these big numbers. He makes, he, he crushes records. I just think he is set up for a letdown game. Obviously, there's probably, uh, there would have been a better chance if the Titans actually had someone at the cornerback position to take away any of the weapons for the Saints, but they are going to be without Malcolm Butler's on the IR. I'm not sure what Adore Jackson's status is as of right now, but he will probably be out again. So they're playing man down. I just, I think Breeze's splits away and home are enough to so make it's, it's, me he's, nervous. He's, he's primed for a cool down. When you're yeah. saying Prime. like a cool down though, like what? Like 12, 14 points? 15 points? I can see him under 20. I, w- I would say like, yeah, 16 or 17. All right. In that range. I would say like maybe like two, so it's not 260 like, yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, not terrible, but like you want... Not terrible, but you could find other options. Yeah, exactly. For like your for your championship game or whatever it may be. Basically, you could throw a Gardner Minshew in there. He might explode more than Drew Brees. Well, yeah, exactly. You Michael want... Thomas this week is basically what I'm getting at right now. <laughs> I was going to throw Michael Thomas into the bus. Wait, he's going to go seven for 80. This week, seven for eighty. This week, that's what I'm fucking predicting. Michael Thomas, so yeah. that's a solid one. And two touchdowns, eighty five. No, zero touchdowns. Eight points, and he's gonna lose. A, and he's gonna lose a fumble. Stop it, Michael <laughs> Thomas. Lose. Zero touchdowns. Now I know you're fucking with seven me. Seven for eighty five and a lost fumble. Right now, <laughs> we're going down to the fucking numbers and a fumble. All right, yeah, yeah I like we're it. losing fumbles here too. Snacks. What get, the fuck you got? Can I here. get a bust in here? You can do whatever you want. Do whatever you fucking want. Like, who cares? Well, what I want to do is leave this goddamn set. So go Animal ahead. makes me no depressed, and I was cares. forced to go to quick check no early. It really threw me off my fucking show. game. I was really upset about that. You know who yeah. makes excuses? Fucking losers. Yeah. Oh! Oh! It's just uncalled for. No, it was exactly called for. You're over there complaining, making excuses. Oh, just oh, show up I'm and win the game. Neck. I'm in a turtleneck. Yeah, you treat even, me with you're respect. even more of a loser. You treat me with respect. It's turtleneck season. There's no such thing. You're right, because it's year-round. No, it's not year-round. How do you figure? It's never a good time to wear a turtleneck. That, I will, that is, you will never, ever find me in a turtleneck in my whole life. because you have no style. I would wear a turtleneck You wear a, a fucking jacket. Yankee hat every day. I like a turtleneck with a suit jacket. Because I'm a Yankee fan. You wear okay, ear, fucking e- earphones that are not plugged in. And we're Says talk who? About style. How do you know they're not plugged in? Oh I like to wear a turtle, You've been starting turtleneck. A.J. Brown for weeks because he's been a beast. With a suit jacket. Right? We talked about Tannehill. He's going to have a good game. you got to play him over Winston. A.J. Brown comes back to earth. I'll play Tannehill over Breeze, too. I mean, I would, yeah. A.J. Brown over Michael Thomas. Everybody AJ, over Michael <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> what has A.J. Brown gotten? 50 points each game the last, what, seemingly a month? Yeah. He's been a monster, and it's been great because I was nervous as shit for him going there, and it's been so great to see. However, back down to earth however, this week. Big however. I think the Titans do what they do best, and what do they do best, Max? They win games. Oh, God. I segued you for a, uh, a the, Derrick Henry freak athlete there. He's a little just, banged up. He's another guy I would actually I understand that, but they need, they need to keep this game dirty. They need to game, 
keep it nitty gritty, dirty, on the ground, pounding it. They're going to specialize A.J. Brown in the game plan, shut him out. That's what they're going to do. A.J. Brown, huge bus game coming in. He's going to lose you championships if you start him. That's a review. Wow. He's gone over 100 yards, 110 Dude, yards in three out of the last piece. four yeah, touchdowns he's in those. Oh, my God. Not slowing down anytime soon. Where's he getting soon. drafted next year? Uh, he's a third round. Third. third round? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Would you take him there? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to take him there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you take him over Alvin I Kamara? already did. <laughs> Would you take him over Kamara? <laughs> I will never take Kamara again. <laughs> What are we doing? He represents you guys, by the way. Alvin Kamara! I'm not mad. Let's go! Put the, uh, You're the, getting emotional about put things. The, the, the Ryan from The Office meme, when he just writes the, the yeah, name down the book. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Alvin Kamara's on, on that list. Adam Humphreys or Alvin Kamara? For what? Cody Hollister. <laughs> <laughs> like, for who do you like more as a friend? Uh, Tajay Sharp or Alvin Kamara Steen? Would you take Corey Davis or Alvin Kamara? I'll take Alvin Kamara. As a friend. Then you're a fraud. You're a fraud. You're you a farce. You just said he's not, you're a fraud. Big farce motives. Whatever. Anyway, you know who's not a farce? You want to know who's not a farce? Who? Will oh. Fuller. Will Fuller's not a farce. Can you're going to say Will. You try that? Can you're you? going to say Will anti-farce Fuller. <laughs> yeah. The anti-farce. I love you that. You would have had alliteration there. I actually don't know if there's a, a bigger farce in the NFL than Will Fuller. Well, here's the thing with Will Fuller. He did have one good game this He year. doesn't give you good games every week. He's a... Uh, oh, really? Every four, five, six type of, uh, you know games he'll give you that that good game his last good game his last big game was 17 and a half points and that was week 12 well that's week 16 baby and he has done shit He has done shit every week until now and guess who he's playing tell us he's playing the tampa bay buccaneers what are we talking about will fuller <laughs> <laughs> the buccaneers suck against wide receivers we all know this will fuller listen he had seven targets last week first week back with the hamstring, he's Fuck ready. Seven targets. He went five for 61. Kenny Stills caught the touchdowns. He got touchdowns this week. It's Will Fuller. He's going to catch the touchdowns. How many Will Fuller is going to win people leagues over 22 points. Will Fuller has, has one game this year in which he's caught a touchdown. <laughs> yeah. He had three touchdowns, had three three touchdowns, touchdowns, three touchdowns yeah. in one game. Yeah. Hasn't scored in a, in a game I since I picked then. Will Fuller up that week in a different league and didn't start him. Didn't you also do that? Too? I picked him up in, in the E-Town get down and didn't start yeah, him. I, had him. I lost. I remember I lost like 35 on bench, and he had yeah. like fucking 37 that week. I was 46. devastated. Beast. Yeah, but no, this is the week. Will Fuller Will Fuller will win your league. That's just... I'm telling you. It's asinine. I do I'm think he'll probably you. have a good game. I don't. It's coming. I think who are they playing against? The Bucks. Do you know who the Bucks' tight end is? It's O.J. Howard. It's O.J. Howard. It's O.J. Oh, Howard. O.J. Howard. Who's the other one? O.J. Howard. I think they're both going to eat this week. O.J. Howard is going to fucking eat. Like he's animal on a Sunday evening, oh, and the I Chinese fucking, food was I just delivered it. to his goddamn house. I fucking love Chinese food. Yeah, we crushed it last weekend. So good, it was disgusting. It was so man, good. I found like lo mein on the floor like three days later. You better. Yeah, I was awesome. saving it for this weekend. So crunchy. Chinese not so crunchy. Yeah, Chinese not crunchy. meant to be. <laughs> 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 be crunchy. It was just hard on the you floor. <laughs> did you eat? You had, so you knew you ate it. You took a bite of it, didn't you? All right. In all seriousness, you got fucking issues. In all seriousness, Winston. Oh my God, going against these Houston Texans who. I fucking hate the Texans, honestly. I don't know if I ever want to draft the Texans again because watching them is brutal. They don't do anything until the third quarter, and then they do everything. Yeah, they just make they give me stress. great fucking hair. But this thing keeps fucking. I'm ex I'm fucking upset right now. Snacks. What are we gonna do about this? Relax. Hey, it's my equipment. Shoot, um, just kill me. Who's my? OJ yeah. Howard, listen, 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 listen. It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. <laughs> the Buccaneers throw a lot. And throw for a lot of passing yards, and they have no one to throw to. OJ Howard not getting enough credit because he didn't produce last week. He However, sucks. Rashad Perriman. He had like six receptions or like didn't he? Something stupid. Listen, like that? bitch. All right. Rashad Perriman, six <laughs> targets, five receptions, 113, three touchdowns. You know who led the team in targets? OJ Howard, Howard with did. eight and with four eight receptions. Of them. Four receptions, wow. 46 yards. Beast. Who do you think is getting the ball this week against the Howard. Houston Texans? Perriman. Who do you think? Yes, probably <laughs> that as well. Probably Perriman, probably Justin Watson, and probably Cameron Bray, which is why you need to start OJ Howard over Michael Thomas in your <laughs> flex spot. No, I think this is set up for a fantastic fucking spot for OJ Howard, who has been miserable this year. Yeah. But listen, it's simple. You can't, I was going to say it, but I had to pull myself back. OJ. Anti farce Howard. That's what I'm gonna, everyone's middle name is Anti farce Houston has given up a lot of points to the tight end this year. Eighth most fantasy points to the tight end, leading the Didn't team. Did they start off like really good against tight ends too? Yes, they did. 
And OJ Howard started off really bad. Inversely, they are they have flipped and the that script. That happens on things. a lot in fantasy. We see guys in the beginning of the year and starting, and then and eight then targets this week, five targets a week before that, six targets a week before that, 61, 73, 46. He's getting more involved. OJ Howard is getting in the end zone. OJ Howard will eclipse 70 yards this week. OJ Howard will catch four to five passes. Four for 72 and a tug. Get him in over Michael I Thomas. think that's a realistic prediction. I love it. Snacks, what the fuck you got? Have I ever given an unrealistic prediction? I mean, you said Michael Thomas is going to... Actually, a, that's pretty... That's, that's a fact. It's not that bad, actually. A lost fumble is going to be in there. <laughs> it's not an opinion. You hear that? The fact's not It's opinion. fucking fact. Well, this guy, you're probably a little a little weary about starting against... Uh, would you say New England's the best defensive football animal? No. Behind Atlanta, yeah. That's, I deba- wouldn't. that's debatable. I wouldn't say that. Well, who would you say? I don't really care. New England has a great defense. A lot of people we know benched Joe Mixon last week. What did Joe Mixon do? Did pretty fucking good. Did pretty fucking good. 25 carries, 136 yards on the ground, but who's counting? Well, that's fine. Because New England has this all-world defense. People are scared to play their players against him, and that's fine. If you have number one wide receiver, probably don't play him against Stephen Gilmore this year. But guess who's not a number one wide receiver? Stefan, not Steven. Yeah, you fucking Stephon. idiot. You stupid motherfucker. See? You can get all sensitive? No. You're going to cry. No, that's on me. That's on me. Devin Singletary wow, is not a take receiver. Responsibility. What happened? Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, I thought you said. No. I did say something. You popped you just up can't like take you the saw comments. something on the screen. What do you mean? I t- saying Devin. I'm trying to say Devin Singletary. I don't know, can't take the peanut gallery yelling at him from over here. Actually, I'd like you guys. To yell, I'd like you guys pressure. to yell louder. He's crumbling. crumbling. Yell louder. You're getting He's red. Crumbling. You're getting I'm upset. You're I think you're getting. Are you, calm down. Are you upset? Or are you frustrated? Or are you just sensitive? Which of the three? Pick two of the three. Sit start. What, Sit start drop. What were the? Uh, what were they? Frustrated, sensitive, or yes, uh, you're dropped. Never mind. Go. Uh, <laughs> really? That's that's what that we was get. Out of control. No, I'm starting Devin Singletary because uh, New England is going to completely shut down Buffalo's air attack, <laughs> which is pretty non-existent to begin with in the first place. Um, it's not bad, but it's not great. They're gonna have to give the ball to Devin Singletary. Can you to stop have any like game. snarling and shit. Like, what are you doing? This is a full time. Do not per- sit Devin Singletary, okay? I don't care what defense he's playing. They are going to run the ball. They are going to get him the ball in space. That's the only way they're going to move the ball against New England. That's what they have to do to win the game. Start Devin Singletary with confidence. His best New games, England's overrated. His overrated best games have come game. against like the best run defenses in the NFL. Right. He ain't he ain't immune to the to these to these teams. No, he's a beast. I think you mean he is immune to them. That's exactly what I meant. Yes, he's not a farce, Devin. As you can tell, grammar and uh, I got one. English is, is who do you got? Bad I got one. It's a different guy that I said before. I'm pivoting, but none of you have him. It's okay. He is owned, and get this. Only 13% of your leagues, of Yahoo leagues, 13%. Can you guess who it is? I'll give you a hint. It's a tight end. 13%. 13%. It's a very low number. What conference? I would say to you, Jonu Smith, Ian Thomas, Mike Isseki. Oh, you got it. Jonu Smith. Yeah, okay. That's it. That was a really good guess. Yeah. Jonu Smith! Appreciate your input. Well, tight end is one of those positions. So why has Jonah Smith sucked all year? He just had one big game, and now you want to try to you want to hit lightning again? Well, it's, no, he's you're a big lightning guy, huh? It's, you um, don't like thunder. It's, it's like mainly Alvin listen. The five targets is nice. The four targets before that is nice for a tight end. It's just that it's one of those positions. It's simple where you, you'd probably been struggling to get a guy in there all year. Sometimes you know, if you don't have like a Kelsey well, or the Ertz or the Kittle, if you're in the championship now. I would probably assume you have it figured out. You might. You never know. No, it's true. You never know. A lot of things happen. It's true. But uh, Jonah Smith, I think he's a good flyer. Good flyer tight end. Is this this ain't a flyer section? This right, is the, I, I'm, I, this, that's a farce flyer. Wait, no, I'm, it's not I'm, because he's produced ten he? points the week before, fourteen points this and week. What about the two weeks before that? Zero catches, zero catches. Yeah, that happens. It's gonna happen. He's a tight farce. end position. First of all, I don't against the Saints. I don't want a damn farce right now. I'm in the champ. This is all right, my fine. life. All right, scratch Jonu Smith. Let's go with Greg <laughs> Ward Jr. versus Dallas. Don't hate. Are that. Are you mad, angry, or upset? I'm just gonna go with Greg Ward Jr. Okay. The problem with this is that the the Eagles are really bad. Like they're so they're, they're they bad. So like bad. the targets they're limited because Carson Wentz. Like he's when he's throwing the ball, they're not they're not good throws. They're rushed. He's 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 running around in the backfield. So Let me ask you though, back to back nine targets though. Back to back yeah. nine. The volume's nice. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Here's the volume. And if Aguilar's you know, back on the field though, what do you do? You can't start Ward, right? Or can you? Aguilar's not going to be back on the field. What are you a fucking doctor now? <laughs> Look at those fucking <laughs> prescription glasses. <laughs> he went to the doctor and this I think fucking this is asshole a- walked out. <laughs> so speak to us. Why? Uh, Aguilar's not going to see the field? No, he's he's uh, not he's feeling dead. good. 
<laughs> now I'm feeling well. <laughs> He's got an illness now. Love that. Greg Ward, I don't hate the call. Greg Ward, uh, Dallas defense has been severely overrated this year. They have not been good. They have not been good, especially over the last month and a half of the season. Greg Ward. Listen, I'm not like saying you should be starting Greg Ward, but like if you have him on your lineup. That's what this section is about. But no, it's like if you have him on your bench and like Julian Edelman is your other option and you're debating like. You would take Greg Ward over Edelman this week. I would wait until I see how like Edelman's doing earlier in the week. But if I had to. Yeah, if they say Edelman's out. And well, if they say like he could be uh, eliminated or something, who knows what they'll say? Edelstein. He'll feel whoa, it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do you know Edelman's if, not going to be there and you don't know what they're going to say? I'm just, you should know what they're going to say about Edelman. I'm scared. You're a doctor, Dr. Adam. I'm not a doctor. He's the doctor. I'm a doctor. All I was saying was that. I'm certified. You know, maybe you'll USDA. get a report that says Edelman is going to, he's going to try it out. And if I hear that, I'm not playing a guy. They're going to give it a try. You know, they're going to see how they feel in pregame warm ups. So I'd go with the guy that I, I know is going to play. All right, so Greg Ward, league winner here. here Greg, <laughs> play Greg Ward over Michael Thomas. <laughs> you heard it here. I can't wait till Michael Thomas loses a fumble this week. It's going to be incredible. It will be. Let me ask you, would you play Greg Ward over either of the Steelers wide receivers? No, I like James Washington. I a like lot. James Washington coming off this 11 target game. I like oh, Deontay Johnson a lot too. Yeah. He, had a, he had another good game. He he lost the fumble. He did his best Michael Thomas impression. <laughs> Just, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. I don't understand what the problem is. I've been having a big man crush on Michael Thomas. I know. That's why. I, remember when we were prepping before? I was like, you're definitely not going to pick this guy. No. I know oh, oh that's why you said it. Okay, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. No way. I like both of these Steelers wide receivers equally. I don't think I like James Washington more than I like Deontay. I like both of them because they're playing against the Jets pass defense. Yeah. Like Lamar yeah. Jackson, you could arguably have filed like sexual abuse charges for what Lamar Jackson did to this defense last week on primetime football. Yeah. Every time he dropped back. It was like the Jets defense. It, it was like underage. It was like underage fucking rape because this defense played like a middle school team. Right. Yeah, and they're going to do it again. It would be like if like Snacks was to like arm wrestle like a third grader. And like third the third grader, grader yeah, destroy destroys him. him. Yeah, first exactly. Of all, like we first, feel exactly. Like first of all. Stop. Yeah. No. Like whatever Stop. you're trying you to segue to say, into, it's not going to be good. Over. I had a segue, the but joke I, was made. We laughed. We had a good time. <laughs> That's it. Ja, 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 ja. So the Steelers, I don't have confidence in Devin Hodges, but I have confidence in these two wide receivers because this is becoming a funnel. Juju's not going to play again this year. I'm an actual doctor. Vance McDonald is in the concussion protocol. Mm-hmm. I don't think he plays yeah. this week. I, I think James Washington is going to go off this So week. I think Washington, I think Deontay are both really good plays. I mean, Washington seems like the one right now. He's getting a ton of air the yards. Targets are, I, and I he's getting big, tar- big targets, too. Deontay has has led the team in targets two out of the last four. James Washington had the other two out of the mm-hmm. last four, which I think both of them have good floors. Both. James Washington has also been very, very uh, consistent with his catching. I don't know how to like word this, but he's like... Six targets, six catches. Five five targets, five He's catching. Catch. Like, a lot of the balls. Yeah. As, as a fucking wide receiver should. I tweeted this out yesterday, I believe. The last uh, five weeks of the season, NFL leaders in air yard market share. Last five weeks. Uh, James Washington is tied for sixth. You have Ooh, Mike Williams. Beast. Mike Williams is getting 47% of his team's air yards. Yeah. Diggs is at 45. DJ Moore and Sutton are tied at 41%. John Brown at 40. Then AJ Brown, Kelsey, James Washington are seeing 39% of their team's air yards. So Washington's getting it's the clutch. deep balls. Deontay Johnson, I think, is possibly a better possession receiver. And I think he's probably a better like technical all-around route runner. Yeah, probably yards after catch guy, too. He can exactly. Ball, so man. I like both of these guys a lot. So if you're kind of in a pinch... For them, I think both of them are fewer than 30% owned in Yahoo leagues. I like both Steelers. Wideouts, better than Michael Thomas. All right, Snacks, let's see what you got. I got one motherfucking bullet left, and I really wanted to use it on my animal. Please finish with me. My animal? Love that. It's cool. Well, I stopped myself because I don't want to. We're rearing and gearing with Chris Conley and Gardner Minshew's Max's BFF. Look at that. You guys do kind of look alike. Yeah, you kind of do. I'll take it. He's more, a little bit more handsome. He's very studly. slightly. He runs he's, a little faster he's than you, too. That's a little debatable. bit more athletic. We'll Probably a little funnier, too. But he don't have At instincts. At least funnier looking. He yeah. don't have instincts like Animal does. No, no. Oh, he's pretty good in the pocket. He senses pressure very well. It's good instincts. Yeah, it's not bad. He's going to sense that pressure, and he's going to throw the ball at Chris Conley because we know that Atlanta secondary is trash. And Nick, who are they missing? <laughs> Desmond Trufant. Desmond Trufant. Right. But pretty much everybody, that defense is an atrocity. I think Jacksonville rears it and gears it. Did I use that line already tonight? Yep. Did you? Oh, yeah, I don't excited. remember you using it. I was thinking about you using it. You got me excited there because I didn't. Re- I, I liked it a lot. I don't know, sorry. maybe. I, don't know. I, I don't thought know. about it today. And I, I like kind of don't listen to what you say. Yeah, it doesn't like matter. I'm so. not even listening to myself. All I know is I'm playing Chris Conley the over Pro Michael Bowl, Thomas. Uh, Pro Bowl players have been announced. Chris Cares. Conley? What? Is Chris Conley in it? Absolutely not. Who cares? Quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers got in as an NFC fucking Pro Bowl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How many do they got? 
three each side. So, Russell Wilson. Uh, hold on, let's try and do this. Guess. Uh, guess. Start, start Chris Conley. Start Russell Chris Wilson. Conley. Well, they're Aaron prefacing Rogers. by it as, as, as yeah, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> if DJ Chark misses this week. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to get to this. Yeah. But if DJ Chark is out, fucking smash Chris, Chris Conley. Chris Conley is on a, an eight target floor, which is what we keep seeing yep. from him when Chark is out. And he's and scored two touchdowns. Yeah. 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 So I like both uh, Jack, Jacksonville wide receivers, DD, yeah. and I think I just, they're kind of in the same just, boat as the Pittsburgh. I never trust that. Yeah, I don't trust you. Okay, so Pro Bowl quarterbacks. Go with the NFC first. I already gave you Rodgers. Drew Brees. Wilson. Drew Brees. There yeah. you go. Yeah. AFC is pretty obvious. Sam Darnold. No. <laughs> Stop it. Lamar. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say uh, Lamar Mahomes. Mahomes. And uh, Deshaun. Yes. Yeah. Got him. You want to go to the other positions? Yeah, real quick. Nah, I hate the Real fucking, quick. Who cares? It's all it's f- fun. Fine. It's good it's old, a good segue. It's good old family it's fun. Shit. All right, Pro Bowl. You Dalvin go, Cook. You want to go with uh, running backs first? Dalvin Cook. There's, yeah, three from the NFC. Dalvin, C-Mac, and it's definitely not Kamara. No. No. Uh, Chris Carson. No. Really? NFC East. Oh, Zeke. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. AFC. This is kind of interesting. Derrick Henry. Yeah. Nick Chubb. Yep. Yeah. Big Trust. Oh, Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram, yeah. yeah. Yep. Makes I can total see that. sense. Yeah. He deserves How it. He does deserve it. You could see it, of course. Well, I'm just, that wasn't an immediate thought. Wide receivers. Ooh, AFC. Uh, these are questionable for AFC. Very questionable. For AFC. DeAndre? Yes. It's probably the only non questionable one. Oh, I like questionable ones. Mm. Makes me think. You wouldn't like. You're going to be pissed when you hear this one. Mark Cooper. No, that's not, not personal. Well, kind of. Oh, personally I just went pissed, with pissed. Devonte Adams. He didn't make it. No. Of course he didn't fucking make it. What are you saying? It's, it's AFC. AFC anyway. He said that twice. You just named I'm two NFC receivers. Fucking not really listening. That's really bad. You're supposed to listen to the host. Sorry. Wow, I would be pissed. Okay. Well, he must have fucked me. <laughs> He's shaking his head. I could see it in, in my eye. Who else did you fucking own this year in fantasy? Wide receivers. Julio. Oh. No way, Keenan fucking Allen made it. Really? Yep. Keenan. I, he's so irrelevant, I forgot about him. Yeah. Keenan Allen made it. Jarvis Landry made it. There needs, there, now, there needs to be an investigation. And, who, and, who, and Tyree Kill, who missed like Tyree fucking, Kill, I was going to say him, but when you said quite no more questionable, I figured DJ that. DJ Chark no, should DeAndre be Hopkins over was the Keenan only Allen. Questionable. Yeah. There's Tyree a lot of guys who should be over oh Keenan Allen. Oh, my God. Super that is so... The Pro Bowl wide receivers from the NFC are nice. Disgusting. They're all within the NFC South. Thomas Godwin Evans... There's one more, right? Yeah. Thomas, Godwin, Evans. Holy shit. The best wide receiver in that fucking division. I already said Michael Thomas. <laughs> I'm so pissed right now. Why? Because you're an idiot. You don't know who it is? Michael Thomas. Of course is, I know who it is. Michael Thomas is the fourth best wide receiver in that division. No, oh, Julio is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Tight ends, George Kittle, Zach Ertz, Travis Kelsey, Mark Andrews. That wraps it up. Those are our league winners, league losers. Michael Thomas, Big time league loser this year. Can Drew you Brees. Just, can you just stop? Can you stop? No, because can you stop? What I if mean, it, like oh, I, I stopped a long time ago? Yeah, you did. You're a fraud. You're a farce. All right, let's get to Patreon hot takes. I've been really looking forward to this. Hot takes. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna read them down the list, and we're gonna agree. Should we subject? Should we do like a, a, a minute timer for answers? So agree we, or disagree? No, just, no the, if we did a minute for each, of these, another another half hour. Minutes. Yeah. By draft season, yeah, you can say agree or disagree, and if you have something actually insightful to throw, you can. Well, I got nothing. By well, draft shut season, shut your damn mouth. Honestly, shut the fuck up, animal. <laughs> <laughs> by, dra- <laughs> by draft season next year, Alvin Kamara will not be a first round pick. Disagree. Yeah, I disagree. He's I disagree as well. Be. Not in my fucking board, he won't. Alvin Kamara. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. No. You just said you would take Kamara. I won't take him at the Davis. I wouldn't take him at the 110. Kamara Kamara is a mid to back end first round pick, probably because Which is insane. we'll hear afterwards that Kamara's uh, ankle has been bothering him for He's the, the entire season. Is he the Todd Gurley? Season. Is he the new Todd Gurley? Could no. be. He's too young though. Yeah. Alex, hot he take. He's too young. One, Odell is basically A.J. Green and unreliable and draftable in fantasy after three consecutive injured seasons. I don't want to say I disagree, but I don't want to say I agree. I think he's like on his way there. He's not there yet. I'm going to disagree. He's on he's his been, way. He's, he's a terrible offensive system this year. I think another year. We'll see. He's, can, he's played enough this year that he should have got it done. So the He injured, has the quietest thousand yards But he was unreliable. Uh, because a thousand yards is not that impressive Of course not. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. It's not like he's, you yeah. know. No, you're right. 20 he just for, hasn't scored any touchdowns. And right. he, hasn't, he hasn't had, he any, scores, like week three he hasn't had any of those big plays. Yeah. Yeah. That, he had like, one big play that I could think of against the Jets. Yeah, and he's still like three years younger than A.J. Green, so I don't want to get it there. I think Odell will have a much better career than A.J. Green when it's all said and done. Two, Cowboys will win the Super Bowl. Disagree. Disagree. Yeah. Three, Nick will become president someday. Big disagree. Big disagree. I need logic behind that. <laughs> Dis- those disagrees. It's absurd. Wait, wait, which Nick? Me or you? Definitely not you. Uh, yeah, you're snacks, so not you. And yeah, no, no fucking chance. How do you figure? 
I mean, maybe I kind of maybe by the time you're old enough to you run, agree with him or may, that maybe by the time I'm, you're old I'm enough to run because you have um, a because YouTube following. How old do you need to be to run? Thirty five. You know, like some YouTube star is going to become a president. What I'm saying by like in like yeah. this, I'm saying in the next ten years where we'll be in society, who knows? It could be like. But the only, the only thing is, the, the only thing is, the candidate that's running against you is going to dig up all the the stuff that you've said and done. I haven't said anything. But at that point, for calling people cunts. That's what I'm saying. But at that point, it won't be like a big deal. It won't be a big deal because everyone is a cunt and they all yeah. know it. You also have like eight more years till you're 35. So just I'm imagine, um, imagine what's going on the internet in eight Shh, years. Exactly. <laughs> well, what I what I think, or they could just think that you were associated with me and them, and just show that. It's easy. I could just be like, I predict the future because what they're gonna do is show this this FTP episode and show me predicting. Mike Thomas, 7 for 85 and a fumble loss. Get to the next one. And me, <laughs> me getting that shit right. Get to the next People one. who prefer chocolate ice cream over vanilla ice cream and oatmeal raisin cookies over chocolate chip cookies can't be trusted. You got uh, me on half. I'll, I'll uh, go halfway there. I'll just what go, did he say? Chocolate over vanilla? I'm just going to say yeah, this. That's vanilla, not a big deal to me. Vanilla is better than chocolate. Yeah, it, yes, is. it is. But if you get chocolate over vanilla, I'm not like, oh, you can't be I, I agree because I like I like. But like the oatmeal like raisin over chocolate chip, so, yeah, so I'm a little suspicious. I don't think that's I don't think that's cereal killer. Like, I like oatmeal raisin cookies. I love oatmeal raisin cookies, but if you have a choice and you take the oatmeal raisin chip, over the chocolate chip, a little sketched about it. I'm not really that sketched. I love oatmeal raisin. I love oatmeal raisin cookies. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. I need you out of this house. Bill Russell might be the most overrated athlete of yeah, all time. It's not even close. No, because Michael Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a hit job. <laughs> Came for the kill. Next preseason, animal animal will bench more than what Nick Squared can squat. Probably not. Just... Honestly, probably. Maybe. How much can he squat? Like 14 10 pounds? pounds? 10 yeah. pounds? I, I gonna, never I squat either. I was going to say like so. a bar and a ton. You might size. actually be able to squat you more. Could act, you could definitely do it. I got to bench, start benching again and get... If I squat, how much can you bench right now? Like, what what would be your max? What would my max, max, max probably be? two fifty, not a lot. Two fifty? Yeah. Okay, that's that's more know, than I, I'd be able to squat right now. I don't know. I, so, so. I honestly yeah. don't know. I could probably rep two twenty five still for a couple. And We're then, gonna start going to the gym again, right? Yeah, if you want. My my all time. You think max you could just three sixty five? You think you could really? Yeah, in college, I was fucking like lifting all the time. Three sixty five? You bench? Yeah. Holy shit! You also shit. on steroids? I used to rep yeah, three fifteen. Yeah, you also took That was like for like a month. I took steroids. One Trevor month. Ross won. Antonio Brown will play again in the NFL. Agree. Agreed, yeah. He's Andrew Luck will play him. again in the NFL. 100% agree. Agree. Uh, no. You're going to say no on which ones? On Both. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck. I'm going to say I, I think he plays. Josh Gordon will he's, play in the NFL again. Done. No. No. Disagree. He's done. Lamar Jackson will not make it past the second round of fantasy next year. Uh, uh, one quarterback well, leagues. Superflex. Superflex, he's, he's the top a, three pick. Yeah, he's a first rounder. One quarterback leagues. Will he make it into the third round? No. If you're in a 12-team league, no. He'll no. be around that like eighteen to twenty four. Yeah, he'll be like the two ten to eleven to twelve. Yeah, he's also. And I don't know last. if I could even. Fault I would even for that. say people would probably even take him earlier because people are just gonna be super high on him. I think he like is deserved of that spot. Yeah, though, I, I, I could because it's not like Patrick Mahomes where you're relying on the crazy passing efficiency. Like Lamar's gonna give you eighty to hundred. I, I actually year. like taking a like if if you're gonna get Lamar Jackson early in a one QB league, I think it's a great move because you have all those other picks to build the rest of your lineup. Now you got one position that you know you're gonna need every week, and he's gonna give you fucking thirty points every week. And then not, you just worry about the rest of your lineup. Russell Wilson should be MVP yes, over Lamar Jackson. Disagree. I agree. Right now, you still? I, yeah, I do. I, and I listen. I we were we've said we didn't like Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I was completely wrong, and I, I've said that. But my opinion is, I think the Ravens are twenty times better coached than. Well, the, than I was the just going to go. Just look at the and line. You t- just put look at the lines. Look at the line. Fine. You put Joe Flack with the Ravens. I guarantee they're still competing for a playoff spot. You put Joe Flack Flack on the Seahawks. They're competing for the number one pick. Yeah. No, exactly. I listen. I it's don't a good way think. To look at it. I think when it all comes down to it, it's valuable. Lamar Jackson's the best player. What, what yes. happens? What happens is going to be this: the, the Ravens are going to have award. a better record, and Lamar Jackson's going to have better stats. You can't. That's it. That's yeah. it. You I know, know what I mean? I know. Well, the, I, I, but the key word the, is value. The, well, the problem with this, the, the whole thing is the award is already just skewed from the way it's titled "most valuable player," but they never give it to the most valuable player. Right. Never do because that, that's the way I look at it. You take Joe you, Flacco. Yeah, Russell Wilson is hurt, the I'm most sorry. valuable player on the Seahawks team. Yeah, and if it was like most prolific close. player, yeah. it would be Lamar Jackson. Lamar, yeah, yeah, exactly. Most, yeah, most valuable. Lamar is right. the most, most electric player, player, like anything like that. Yeah, it's Lamar. Most valuable. Yeah, you're right. But I you mean, substitute uh, Joe Flacco because he was he was like yeah. four and five last year with the Ravens. Put him on both teams. The Ravens are still competing. The Seahawks are competing for the number one spot. John uh, Winston should be drafted as the QB two next season. 
Disagree. Disagree. No, nah, we don't even know where he's going to be. We don't even know if he's going to be a starting quarterback. Yeah, and I'm not taking him over Mahomes. Yeah, like I would still take Mahomes yeah. to quarterback. Or and Watson. Like, David Johnson will be a higher projected no. pick than Melvin Gordon next not, year. No. My, David Johnson is probably going to be. He might not be in the league. He's going to be irrelevant. Yeah, I don't think David, David Johnson's already gone. Like he's not going to be on the Cardinals yeah, next no year. Yeah, no way. Right? I, Melvin Gordon, if he goes to another team, will be a, a good pick for fantasy. He's going to be a really year. good pick. A hot take top five quarterbacks in five years, no order. Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, Trevor Lawrence, Russell Wilson. If no, they're not playing anymore, no. That, honestly, that's just too straight up that yeah. it's just going to be wrong somehow. I can't predict yeah. what it's well, going to be. Daniel Jones isn't in there, and I don't think... Trevor Lawrence isn't going to come in and light it up. Like well, that. this is five years. He's coming five in years. next year. Yeah, I know, but still. His fourth year? I mean, that's prime time. Yeah, Maybe. I can see it. Trevor uh, Lawrence is going to be. Yeah, I, like I don't I hate like that. I mean, those are those are. I mean, those are good names. I just think like you're probably missing out on three other quarterbacks no, that are going to come know. in this yeah. year and next year or whatever. Some undrafted yeah. fucking scumbag no one's ever heard of. Hot take two: Animal fucking shave for the love of God. What the fuck is that? You look like Luigi and Mario had an oversized Agreed. child. <laughs> uh, disagree. It's fucking war. Shit slaps. I think he looks terrible. Never, it's more, I think you should cut his hair and shave all this shit. He was a very handsome guy back in the day. Animal is actually six four, but he puts six two in his Twitter bio to be humble. <laughs> That's a good one. Who's that? <laughs> Noah, <laughs> agree or disagree? <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree too. Animals, agree. animals, a monster. He's actually his legs are actually fucking all the way <laughs> like to here. You just can't see it under the table. Hot take three: Whoever the Cowboys hire at head coach next year will actually be worse than Jason Garrett, unless it's a no name Ron Vera or Mike McCarthy. Disagree. You can't get worse than Jason Garrett. Yeah, I was gonna say they're probably gonna end up going with one of Urban those two guys Meyer. that you said or like a college Urban coach Meyer. so i think with I hear, like right? the, the the young college coaches seem to be okay so i don't yeah, mind i that. think they're gonna go up from jason Garrett. i think they'll be i think they'll be better you final, can only go up yeah final take brady will end his career with the chargers in la and the pats will move on to stidham this offseason i can't see la i can't see la either yeah. can you really see brady ending no. elsewhere no i feel like there's just so I many could. rumors i just i don't think it's gonna I happen it. like I, like i know belichick's smart like that and he like when it's time to go they, he does well that, here, but like here's the dream scenario i just don't think Kraft will do it that's it which i means don't think Bill robert Kraft. himself and you know he's gonna have a head coaching vacancy very soon broncos could bill come back home he's not coming to the giants Stop. you scumbag if he does i'll be so fucking mad <laughs> <laughs> dalvin cook will play on monday night and have a monster game disagree no disagree, disagree. Yeah, i wouldn't even start that uh, uh, yeah, last it, hot take for now. Justin's asked like 32 of them. I love it. Keep on going. He's got like three more hot takes after this. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I can do hot takes all night. Tua, Tua won't be a top three player selected in this year's draft from his own school. Yeah, no, uh, probably not. Probably not. I, I don't I, really know I, the draft class that well, I mean, but I'm, I'm assuming Jerry, Jerry Judy, Judy will go. Is he still a good uh, like, Jerry Judy's like, top five slip, pick. No, he's not. not he's anymore. slipping. Yeah, I think no, he's going to go he's very slipping. early. Uh, rug. Um, Jerry Drew's gonna go like the Redskins, like fucking early or some shit. The Redskins are gonna have the third pick. Yeah, he'll go there. Probably. I, th- the I think Tua will be a top three. I think he'll be the third one off the board for. Oh, for from Alabama. Well, they got the line. You got the offensive lineman. You got Jerry Judy. I just don't know the team honestly. And I'm just Henry Ruggs, well, who I don't Tua know. Tua might he's... not even come out. So. Well, well that'd say. be so dumb if he doesn't. But... I disagree. All right, right, Scott has three or four four letters and one number. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Scott labeled these A to A A to D. Hey, biking is the best mode something. of transportation. Yes, no. I agree. Helicopter. Have you ever been on a helicopter? I have, yes. Really? That's I've never awesome. been on a helicopter. Awesome. That's pretty epic. I'd still go with biking. Like in, in I my hope experience. one day I hope one day that this shit blows up so much. We are so fucking filthy, stinking, disgusting rich. We buy a helicopter and do our show from the copter. It's a terrible idea. Why? You want to do it from the co- You know how so hard it would be to loud. hook up the audio? Yeah. It'd be so hard. By that time, it'll probably be like 2030 and technology will be through the fucking You think they'll roof. have bladeless helicopters yeah. by then? Something. Be sick. Something. Be fucking sick. Something. Uh, for, I, I would still go biking when it's warm out is like the best thing in the world. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, so that was A. Swimming's Two, pretty cool. You know, it's not really a real by, That's not a form of transportation, <laughs> you fucking cunt. By 2025, <laughs> Big Dogs will have an HQ on three different continents. That's uh, that's already a fact. Yeah. Nah, I, I disagree. I going to say... Three different continents. Continents. We're, all right, we're gonna go north. We're gonna go North gotta go America. Australia. We're gonna go Antarctica and Australia. Oh, good. It's really not that difficult. Yeah. D. Um, snacks will be host. A, snacks will be host. I'm guessing you meant to put an oven there. Be a host. Uh, yeah, Scott. Just one quick thing. Just make sure you just just proofread what you write on Patreon. <laughs> he gets so excited. That will be a host of charity cancer event with Eli Manning within the next five years. Honestly, I could see it. Disagree. Wait, why? Not within five. Maybe eight. Maybe ten. Okay, that's fair. I could see it though. 
We're in that line of field yeah, today. Yeah, I'll give you that. Overall winner of the 2020 Big Dogs Combine will be Animal. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm absolutely I'm all absolutely going to take that. Like the all-around best athlete at this table is clearly me. So I'm yeah. going to I'm going to sweep every competition maybe besides like You're literally going to beat me in anything that's like speed running anything and that after has to that, do with movement. Anything, anything functional, no, I will no. dominate like you. throwing a football, kicking a football, I'm going to fucking kick it out of the field like off the fucking property. I bet I'm you shank throw your it. first kick. I'm going to throw it 60 yards. I have a cannon arm. You think he could throw the ball farther than me? No. Yeah. I have oh. a great fucking arm. I have a cannon arm. Maybe. I ran. Max, you are like. I ran. You the, are. You you're are not like, built to throw. I the was ball. the quarterback of our intramural flag football if we do team block, that if we do won the championship. Drills, it's not even funny. Also, it's not it's even. Just, it's just it's dumb. It's true. It's a fact. <laughs> I have a picture. And and get this. I was a quarterback. We ran the bow and arrow offense. No. Is this did? also when you did steroids? Boom. Like Boom. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I threw the fucking ball so far. So far. All right. So Where'd anything go? functional, I'm going to dominate. If there's a bench press, like, I'll probably still be down. I'll win accuracy. That's about it. Might, might. Scott. Oh, <laughs> this is <laughs> harassment. Final, final hot take. If Belichick was coaching any other sport in the world, he'd be banned for all of his cheating, let alone seen as the greatest of all time. Uh, disagree. I'm not even he's really amazing. sure the he's point amazing. to be made. I don't care what he's done. He's the best. Anthony Miller will be a better fantasy wide receiver than Terry McLaurin. For like this week? That's all it says. Like forever or for this week? For this week? No, because I said Terry's going to go off. Ooh, I like both of those. Uh, I would say this week I would take Terry uh, for next year. All right, let's do this. Let's break. Actually, I, I guess for, I, for next year Terry I would take both. Terry. Yeah. I would take Terry. Dynasty, I would take Terry too. Yeah, yeah. Terry. Sorry. Well, Anthony even, Miller, I mean, decent start this week, right? Yeah, he's yeah. definitely a good start this week. Yeah, I, I, mean, I like him. Yeah. Um, but he's a lot older than Terry is, and Terry looks like he could be a legit alpha for the yeah. next like five fucking years. Nah. So you need to calm the fuck down with that. Nah. He's the next. He's he's better than OBJ. Oh, yeah, I agree, hundred percent. Better than Michael Thomas too. Don't agree. All right, that's all we got for you all today. Wait, I hope there's you no enjoyed. More? No, that's all we got. That's it. Those what are all the, the hot fuck? takes. It's a pretty good amount. Twenty six. Like, like all of them came from Justin. I was but. having so much fun. That was kind of fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let us know down in the comment section what you what you want to see Snacks do to himself next episode. What? If this video... I can't believe I just acknowledge that. I usually always just fucking... It's too late now. Why is it too late? Yeah, we do. Because people taper off by now. Yeah, but right. we'll start that next week. You gotta this fucking week. remind us, animal or... Fuck Your production. You went to quick check. Your pro you fucked That's more this. time for you to tell us. I fucking forgot. Because I came back and then You're you guys were just... You're a pro Listen, production I, manager. I came in annoyed because of you. I'm leaving... Way more annoying. I was gonna um, because of you. You want me? To, I'm working on a new pizza. If you want to try it. Oh yeah, like right now. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. I'll Get make it. I'll, I'll fucking like it. Like 15 minutes. Fuck. Do it. Do it. Yeah. You gotta upload that shit. It's a new True. secret recipe. It's, a, it's not tomatoes. It's different. So yeah, I'm trying. Secret. To, secret. I don't like secrets. It's not like. It's just a, it's a specialty pie. You'll see. I'm trying, okay. I'm trying something okay. new. Okay. Well, hit that thumbs up if you agree Whoa. with me that Michael Thomas is gonna be a huge fraud this week and he's a farce. And uh, I love you. Goodbye. Anybody hits that thumbs up, it's a moron. <laughs>